Okay, so um, I am obviously at home. Um, this would be Friday's science lesson. And then Monday, when I'm back, we'll pick up, we'll talk about what we need to and we'll move uh, from here. So at this point, hopefully, you've taken the water cycle quiz. That should have been part of yesterday's work for you. Um, I'm making this video, it's Sunday, so whatever day it is. Um, so we have, I can't even talk. You haven't taken the water cycle quiz yet. Um, so I can't attest to any of the scores, but hopefully they're good because water cycle is pretty, pretty basic. Um, from here, we're starting just general weather. So if you can get me your science notebook, and if you can get me to the next available page that you have, we're just going with the next blank page in your science notebook, um, a pencil and a highlighter. I am at home, so I don't have a highlighter. So I'm going to use my little pink felt pen. Um, and box things in, but you can highlight what I box in because that's what I need it for. But in your science notebook on the next blank page, the date uh, would be 12-8. And if you can give me a heading that just says weather. Now, I'm going to talk a bunch like I normally do, so nothing new. But if I'm writing too fast, talking too fast, whatever, this will be one of the few times you can actually pause me. I'm sure a lot of you want to pause me sometimes, rewind me, although I'm sure no one wants me to repeat myself a million times, but still. I need you to give me a bullet point, and next to that, I'm going to write that weather is the condition of the atmosphere. And I'm sure that you don't know what that is, so give me a second, we'll look at that at a certain place for a short period of time. Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain place for a short period of time. I'm gonna start talking, so if you're not done writing, you might wanna pause me so you can finish writing down what you need to. If you're good, I'm gonna ask you to please box in the word atmosphere for me. I'm gonna draw a little arrow that goes out and down because I'm gonna give myself a definition for atmosphere. All the atmosphere honestly is, it's just a layer of gas that surrounds the earth. That's it. They don't typically even ask us about it. It's just part of what weather would be. So I'm going to put that atmosphere equals the layer of gas that surrounds the earth. Now, I am going to ask you to highlight something, and I want you to remember that I don't have a highlighter, so you're going to have to, I'm going to box it in, but I want you to highlight it. Will you highlight the word weather? So I'm going to box it in, but you're highlighting it. And then will you highlight where it says short period of time? The good, not the good, but the important thing about weather that we need to understand is that weather is just, it's quick. It changes. So it just happens for a short period of time. So what I need you to think about would be that it could be raining in the morning on the way to school, but not in the afternoon on the way home. Or it could be really cold in the morning. That's kind of what we've been experiencing lately. And by the time we go out for recess or we walk to lunch, it's not really that cold anymore. Um, stuff like that. So it's just, it's short. Weather changes throughout the day. Okay. Um, so I'm going to write a couple things here. I'm going to give myself a bullet point and then I'm going to put the word example. 
So I'm gonna say that it would be raining in the morning. but not in the afternoon. Or I'm gonna put that it could be cold in the morning. Sorry. And it warms up in the afternoon. So these would be examples, let's see if I can make that better, there we go, that go with this, that weather's just for a short period of time. We all live in Florida, okay? We all know Florida's crazy rain. It can be perfectly sunny and then downpour for 10 to 15 minutes and then it goes back to being perfectly sunny again. So. I'm going to ask you to take your highlighter. I don't have one, so I'm using my little pink thing. Box this in for me. Okay, the big thing, you can even take the highlighter and draw an arrow back to where you highlighted here. The big thing, sorry, someone was at my door about weather and then they were texting me. So I was trying to figure it out. The big thing about weather is that it changes. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to write three things down about weather. So I'm going to put three little bullet points here. I'm going to say that weather is right now. I'm going to say that weather is local. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And then I'm going to say that weather is always changing. If you need to pause me so you can finish writing, please do that because I'm going to keep talking. I'm using my phone to record, so I'll show you on Monday when I get back. But if you, I mean, a lot of you have a phone. So if you look at your weather app on your phone, it shows you for each hour what the weather would be. Let me see if I can pull up something here. Um, weather channel. Weather channel. Okay, weather.com. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Why is this taking so long? Oh, it's loading. Okay. Um, so it's supposed to see, so this is just the weather channel. Um, so I live, my house is in, this is not typing. Um, I live in Palmetto. So if I type in Palmetto's zip code, let's go. That did not work. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's loading. It's just crazy slow. Hourly. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. So it's literally giving me an update where it would be every 15 minutes. So right now it is 127. So it's saying that at 1.30, it's supposed to be 80 degrees. And then it's telling me, oh geez, Louise, at 1.45, I hate ads. At 1.45, it's supposed to drop down just a little bit to 79 degrees. And then 15 minutes later at two o'clock, it's supposed to still be 79 degrees. So this little icon is showing me that it is partly cloudy and that there would be a 6% chance of rain. And then if you go down, it's telling you what it actually feels like outside. So even though it's only really gonna be 80 degrees, it's gonna feel like 85 because of the humidity, all the water vapor in the air, it makes it feel warmer. 
It's telling me that right now that the humidity is at 82%, that the wind is blowing southwest at 11 miles per hour, and there's a UV index of 3 out of 11, which is how much of the sun's direct rays would be affecting us. Right now it's rained zero inches today, and then it's gonna continue to change and they're updating you every 15 minutes. So at 2.30, it's supposed to feel like 85 degrees outside, but at three o'clock, it's gonna feel like 84. Instead of 82% humidity, it's at 84% humidity, okay? That would be because weather is right now. It's constantly changing throughout the day, which is why it could be colder in the morning and warming up by the time we walk to lunch. Or it could be raining and then stop raining and start raining again later, or just start raining out of nowhere. Or if you're playing outside and a big gust of wind comes by, like it's just constantly changing. Weather is local means that even if that is what it is in Palmetto, you guys don't live in Palmetto. So if you guys go to, I'm typing in Weather Channel again, um, and I look at Bradenton, let's see. I actually don't know the zip code for the school, so I should probably learn that. But that's my sister's zip code and she lives decently close to the school. So let's see hourly and oh, that still says palmetto i don't want that Ugh, stop it what a horrendously slow website and we go three four two one two nothing hold on All right, let's just look at Bradenton, Florida. I guess the school's technically Sarasota, but regardless. Oh no, it's just not doing anything for me. It's just not changing. Okay, whatever. We'll look at it at school. I can't with that. Anyways, so weather is local means where you are. So just because my house is in Palmetto, yours obviously isn't, which means it could be raining at my house, but not necessarily at your house. Or it could even be raining at school, but not at your house, even if you are a walker or a biker and you live right down the street. Okay, we all live in crazy Florida where we've seen it raining on one side of a parking lot but not raining on the other side of a parking lot so weather is local means it's wherever you are in that moment whatever tampa's weather is is not necessarily what it's going to be like at your house or at school or whatever's happening in sarasota is not necessarily happening in bradenton or palmetto or wherever a big thing would just be that weather is always changing now i'm going to ask you to highlight that weather is right now that's a big thing for us weather is local big thing for us weather is always changing big thing for us can you highlight these three things i don't have a highlighter with me so i'm just gonna box these in this looks terrible but you get the gist okay we are writing just a few more things here there are five things or five aspects that go into determining and describing weather. So when they are giving me um, like temperature, humidity, cloud cover, we really don't bother with, but wind speed, the southwest part, or not so true, wind direction would be the southwest part. Wind speed would be the 11 miles per hour. So wind speed, wind direction, okay? We do not have to deal with the UV index, but we do deal with precipitation. Is something actually falling from the sky? And if it is, is it in a liquid form, solid state, okay? So there are five things that go into describing weather. So I'm going to put a little bullet point, and I'm going to put what are the five aspects of weather? We're going to list five things. We're going to talk about the first one, and then we'll be done for right now.
The first thing that goes into describing what the weather actually is would be the air temperature. So it's really just asking or telling you if it's hot or cold. So this would be in degrees, that little circle, and then F for Fahrenheit. They are allowed to give you a temperature in Celsius, but they have to also tell you the degrees in Fahrenheit as well. So air temperature, the actual number where it says that it's 79 degrees or it feels like 85 degrees, that's just telling you, you know, how hot or cold it is. The second one we're going to spend some time on because I'm sure that you don't really know what it is, but it's technically called barometric, which is a fancy way of saying air pressure. So I'm going to put barometric, air in parentheses, pressure. And this goes in to whether or not we should have clouds in the sky. We'll talk about this one. That's a big one for us. Three would be humidity. If I'm writing too fast, please just pause me. Write down what you need. Humidity would be the amount of water vapor, so gas, evaporated water in the air. If it is more humid, then that means that there is more water being evaporated. So right now, this is still pulled up for me, where it says the humidity is around 82 degrees. But it's out of 100, so pretty high. But that means that there's a lot of evaporated water in the air. And that would be because it's been warmer the past few days. We did have a few cold days earlier at the beginning of the week, but then it started to warm up. So now it feels like it's 85 degrees outside, water is evaporating. So there's high humidity, a lot of evaporated water in the air. Four is really two things, but they go together. Four would be wind speed and wind direction. So that's where it said it was the wind was blowing southwest at 11 miles per hour. The direction would be southwest, the speed would be 11 miles per hour. The last thing here that goes into an aspect of weather, describing weather, would be just precipitation. So for us, it would mostly be rain, which is why if I look at my weather.com page, it's telling me that the amount of rain is zero inches because it's not rain today. We haven't received any rain in any amount, okay? I'm going to move this. So if you're not ready, I need you to pause me. But if you're good, we're going. I'm going to write one more thing um, that goes with this part. And then um, I want to try to talk about air temperature because it's pretty quick. All right. So the last thing that goes with the five aspects of weather, I'm going to say the aspects of these, sorry, it's not very helpful. The aspects of these five factors are always changing. The temperature changes throughout the day. Okay, the air pressure can change throughout the day. The percentage of humidity changes throughout the day. Even if I show you again where it's 82 and then 84, it's changing within just a 15, or that's not 15, that's two to three, so an hour time frame, but it changes throughout the day, okay? The precipitation can change throughout the day. It could be raining and then not raining. The wind speed can change. The wind direction can change throughout the day. So the aspects of these five factors are always changing. The five things that go into weather change throughout the day. So I'm gonna add, so weather, is always changing. All right, I don't have a highlighter, but I would like you to highlight that whole thing. The parts of weather, those five factors, the aspects of those five factors are constantly changing throughout the day. So weather is constantly changing throughout the day too. I am going to put a little line here 
we're going to do air temperature like one, two, three, four, five, and a little picture that we're drawing. That's it. I'm going to put a little bullet point and put air temperature. Oops, spelled it wrong. Can't write and do something else at the same time. All right, it is T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T. -E -E that's supposed to be a U, U-R-E. All it really is is how hot or cold it is outside. It is outside. Sorry, how hot or cold it is outside. Air temperature lasts for short periods of time, which means throughout the day, the air temperature is going to change. Weather's always changing. I'm going to say that air temperature would be measured by using a thermometer. I'm going to ask you to box this part in. Or highlight it. Sorry, I'm boxing it in. Air temperature is measured in Celsius. or Fahrenheit. If you need to pause me at any point, pause me. That should be enough. All right, the last thing that we are going to write here, um, I'm, this is where the picture goes with. So I'm going to say the air temperature decreases as altitude increases. So the air temperature decreases. The air temperature will go down as altitude increases. And altitude would be your distance from sea level. So the higher up you go, the colder it's going to become. The more the temperature is going to drop down towards freezing. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to show you something on my computer in just a second to give me a triangle, but don't put the line on the bottom. It's gonna be a mountain. I'm gonna put some jagged stuff there. Okay, let me do a picture of a mountain. Uh, let's see. This is perfect, actually. Okay, so this would be a really great description of the fact that the higher up you go, the colder it is. This white stuff that you see here, that's snow. And then down here at the base, the bottom of the mountain, there's green grass, there's green trees, no snow here, okay? The higher up you go, the colder it is, which is why it can snow at the top of the mountain and have green grass at the bottom. Same thing here. There's green grass, there's a lake, but that white stuff that you see up here like on the peaks, that's snow. So the higher up you go, the colder it's going to become. You can kind of see some snow here at the top of the peak of this mountain. There's green grass, same thing. All right, so I'm gonna say, if this is my mountain, sorry, that this is snow. And down here, which would be called the base, there could be green grass. I'm going to write, the higher up you go, the 
colder it is. I am going to ask you to highlight this. I'm going to end up boxing mine in, but highlight that for me. All right, this is a longer video, and sadly it was mostly me fumbling around with weather.com. Very sorry about that, but that's it. We'll move from here on Monday. When you have written down every single thing that I have, you're done. <laughs>